Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is Legend. Welcome back to another PlayStation 4 update video here on my channel. I just wanted to keep you guys informed about these updates coming out for the PlayStation 4. I already knew there was going to be another update coming out for this console, and I'm about to cover everything with you guys here on this video. So please leave a like on this video. Let's go ahead and hit like 300 likes on this video. Let's get this one out there because update 8.03 has officially been, you know, revealed. So you see that right here. If you go to your system software update, you guys will be able to download this update. I did not know about this when it came out three days ago. So let's go ahead and check out the patch notes. Let's see what Sony did in this update. I do remember a long time ago when they were talking about you know fixing the party chats and we do have some main features in the system software update and it says disable game chat audio has been added under sound and device in the quick menu if you turn on this setting game chat audio will be disabled your voice will not be heard and you will not be able to hear other players voices and this setting does not apply to party chat audio so if you're basically in a party chat with your friend and you might have other people in your party chat you can switch over from the party chat over to the game chat and now we have a new feature where you can disable game chat audio so i'm basically thinking to myself okay if i'm playing call of duty and i want to disable the game chat audio of other players they won't be able to hear my voice so this is a new feature that they added within this system software update I have been hearing a lot of people talking about how this update will cause your console to be in a boot loop. I can tell you this right now. I have not had any issues with this update. I have installed it. I will actually show you every single step of me doing this and not having a single issue with this update. And it's almost about 500 megabytes. It's not really a big, huge update. It shouldn't really fuck your console up. I mean, I installed it myself. I don't have the PS4 Pro. I don't have the PS5. I still have the regular PlayStation 4. <laughs> and to keep it real with you guys, these updates that they keep on coming out with, when update 8.0 came out for the PlayStation 4, when it first came out, my friends list was not working for a whole entire day and a half. Then Sony came out and made a tweet talking about how they were going to fix it and they fixed it. So update 8.0 from there all the way up until 8.02, the last update, I did not like it at all. But now we have 8.03 and give it a week, give it maybe a couple of days to really see how this update is working for your console. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back when this is finished. I will leave timestamps in this video for you guys in case you want to, you know, jump right into the video. You want to skip a couple of things. Do what you want to do. So I'm going to come right back and we're going to install this update. Okay, so I installed the update. Everything seems to be working fine. I haven't had any freezes, no boot loops, nothing at all. Everything is completely fine. If you did not go through anything on what I went through just now, your console will probably be in a boot loop where the update is stuck and it won't update. 
And no matter what you do, you turn it off, you turn it back on, it's still going to be fucked in a certain way. I've never had a PlayStation in my life that has ever boot looped. So if you end up running into that problem, please comment down below. If any of you guys know a fix for it, let's help out each other so we don't have any issues with any update that comes out for the PlayStation 4. I'm pretty sure we're going to see update 8.04 maybe in the next two weeks, three weeks. I really don't know what Sony's going to go ahead and keep on doing with these updates, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you out. I hope that calms you guys down in case you were feeling, you know, skeptical about this update coming out. But so far, everything seems normal for me. The friends list is a lot more quicker. Uh, disable game chat audio is right here. And you guys can see that within the quick menu. So everything that they said in the patch notes is here. So there was no stability update, just disabling game chat audio. So. I'll leave it at that. Like, comment, subscribe, click on that bell to miss out on my next video. Oh, yeah, there is one more thing I want to let you guys know. Sony is still hearing your conversations and your voice chats. I hope y'all know that. They, they only disabled game chat audio. That's all they did. Okay? <laughs> I'm just keeping it classic. So I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all have a good night. Take care. Peace out, y'all.